Hello everyone, my name is GhostCT3 and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we'll be playing a game called A Taste of the Past. Surprise, well, this game I actually found when I was scrolling through reels on Instagram. I was scrolling and I came across this one um, game creator or game developer and she made this game along with her team. Uh, I'm sure you saw the game, the team, the, the, the studio, my bad, Sondering Studios, this, this is them, and it was made by this, this lady right here, Emily Pitcher. So i taken a look through it at Steam and I decided to give it a, I decided to give it a whirl. So, yeah, let's see what's in store for us. We recommend finishing this game in one sitting. You play through the last round. Oh, uh, okay. Well, at least we know how long the length would be. Mm, yeah, I was. I don't really know the length of the game before, but I did want to get it done in one sitting, anyways, or try to at least. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, this girl has her own cookbook. Soy sauce, sesame oil, something mushrooms, dandelions? Nah, I don't know. Carrots, noodles, sugar, something sauce. Ingredient list is indistinguishable. The pages are wet and torn, proves that the generation of recipes passed down. Mom used to prep the recipe book on the kitchen counter as she made me sca scallion pancakes. Scallion pancakes before class. Hot pot for special occasions. Long noodles on my birthday. My first birthday, without her. I begged for the recipe growing up, but she always reassured me that it was a mom's secret. We used to make dumplings together every Sunday afternoon, dipping our fingertips in the water to connect the peel. To connect the peel. Oh. The fresh smell of chives as the gyoza hit the oil hit the hot oil. I can't remember the last time we cooked together. She eventually put thought into her cooking for work pot looks. Cooking for people who've never heard of chili chili black bean sauce. Dad never understood our love for Yu Tiao? Yu Xiao? I don't know. How we meticulously dip dip the dough into kongi, kanji. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm getting the grammar wrong. I knew her less and less, hearing about her day through eavesdropping on phone calls. Of course you weren't. Of course you're not there when I need you the most. I'm playing as this girl, right? Or am I just like playing as someone sitting next to her? Huh? Oh. I can't believe I fell asleep. I better miss my stop. Where is everyone? How do I walk around? Oh, I am playing this room. So I guess what I'm getting for this is like this girl spend time with her mom and like something happened and then they just like don't spend time together anymore. 
also the they they do is through cooking though. They they spend time cooking together. Grandma? I the last time I saw you you were just a couple of feet tall. That's a that's gotta be years before we meet again. What what's going on? I thought you were dead. Oh me. Oh her name's me. I'm so sorry. Your mom lost you too soon. You know about that? What is this place? I found her here, May. Even though you're you know it's been so long since your great grandma died, I still remember it clearly. I saw her everywhere. I kept reliving all those memories I had once forgotten. I understand how you must feel. Wait, mom's here? Where can I find her? There's so much I need to tell her. You'll see her when you're ready. Because I was about to train. Because I already talked about mom already. Where am I? I know this must be jarring, but you're right where you need to be. This train has a way of bringing those in need of guidance to it. Am I dead? Am I dreaming? You're okay, dear. I have one more thing before I should let you go. Do you remember the first time you swam? When I was six? I used to take you to the swimming pool every Friday after elementary school. You complained every time your mom wasn't there. But she was cooking dinner for us. When you, when you made it to the deep end for the first time, your mom made it made you mapu tofu. Your mom made you mapu tofu, your favorite at the time. She loves you. You haven't been here the past few years. She wasn't there then. She's not here now. She has been there all of your life. You mean if you don't see it now? I mean, that was my birthday, right? Where is she for that? Speaking of which, my birthday is coming up real soon. So, happy birthday to both of us. I know it must... I know you must feel hurt, but she sacrificed so much to make sure you were cared for, moving to America, giving up her dreams. If you want to take one thing from her, it's to love even when no one's watching. <sighs> Sorry, I was moving my neck around. But how am oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but how am I supposed to know she loves me if I don't see it? It's, every it's everywhere around you. Her waking up early to take you to school, working extra shifts to pay for your art classes. She, she never passed down any of her recipes though. She didn't want you to worry about cooking so you could focus on school. Take this list and go to the fridge. I promise your mom give you give this to you. Well this talk to grandpa though. Oh, I can move while they talk. It's been a while, May. I'm happy to see you again. Your grandmother hasn't been doing well since your mother joined us. It wasn't her time yet. Can you tell me what's going on? I'm sorry, but not yet. I never I never thought I'd get to talk to you again. You know, this Well, you know, they say you have all the time to sleep when you're dead. But your grandma still wakes me up in the morning to share the latest family gossip. Sounds like her. So you live here? And grandma lives here too? I guess you could say that. How are you holding up? I can't stop thinking about mom. I can barely get up in the morning. Remembering her is a part of accepting she's, that she's gone. You remember her when you hear her favorite song on the radio, or when you set the table for dinner. It also hits you when you see something beautiful and wish you could tell her. The truth is, you'll never stop grieving her, but you'll learn to celebrate your life by cherishing these memories. I still can't bring myself to delete her voicemails. 
I try to remake her food, but the recipes I've found, but the online recipes I've found are never as good as hers. So when you learn how to carry, you'll learn how to carry her with you properly. But for now, I want you, I want to know more about you. I haven't seen you since you finished middle school. How have you been? Hmm. I'm assuming her dad still lives. Let's just say that dad only knows how to make microwavable meals. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. I'll have to keep that one to myself. <laughs> oh boy. Your mom would come back to life just to divorce your dad if she heard that. He asked me about school if he asked me about school, but it feels like we're trying to fill up the space mom wants to cook. He's scared. He's scared. He'll never be what your mom was. We're all afraid. We're, we're all afraid we won't be enough. That's why our loved ones won't accept us. That's why it won't be appreciated. That doesn't change when you become an adult. How's school? It's been awkward. Everyone in class or walks on eggshells around me. I got sent home from class last week for crying. Avon asked if I was okay and I was like, no, I'm just a kid and now my mom's dead. Then they started crying. So then I started comforting them even though I'm the one dead mom. They were like, I can't imagine what I do if my mom died, but I don't have to imagine. I'm going to be a reminder for the rest of my life that my mom's dead. Every holiday, when I get married, when people ask what my parents do, Thanksgiving's coming up, and I don't want to see everyone spending time with their fam with their parents. Even though mom, even though mom and I don't even, don't even do anything for Thanksgiving, it's the fact that I know what can never be. And now I'm bitter about people who did nothing wrong to me besides being happy. Your feelings may not be necessarily right, but they are human. Your mom's passing is going to be painful and awkward and selfish, but that's okay. I promise you. When you're holding when you're, you're holding up as any person would. Sorry, it feels like there's sun crawling on my head. It's just a piece of hair. Anyways, and one day your classmates are going to understand where you're coming from. Take care of yourself, me. We're all thinking of you. Please ignore the Discord notification ping if you just heard it. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I'm like getting the grammar wrong, because well, I'm just trying to keep up and. Try not to mess up the, the, the dialogue, I mean. Um, let's see here. Must be noodles, mushrooms, scallions, sesame oil. Got the noodles right here. It's the uh, oil, right? Yeah. Mushrooms and scallions. What does scallions look like? Is it this? No. No, those are eggs. Oh, those things. Nice. Okay, well, we know the... We know the... Shit, my, my mind is going blank. We, we know the name of this girl now. Her name is May, and... Her mother passed away, unfortunately. Oh, was this her mother? Hi, have I met you before? You look familiar. Hey, is that you? Who are you? I haven't seen you since you were a baby. I'm your great-grandmother. Really? She looks really young. Weird. Anyways. I think Mom showed me a picture you once. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. I guess this is how she sees her because of the picture. 
Hopefully it was a flattering picture. How are you? I I don't know. Have you had the funeral yet? It was last week. I took my sister to the mall to shop for a black dress and it was weird like... What am I supposed to say when the sales associates ask me? Looking for anything in particular today? It's not just that. Who's gonna take me to 99 Ranch? Who's gonna watch scary mo Who's going to watch scary movies with me? A part of me doesn't want to be happy because that will mean I accepted her death. But that's what your mom will want to do. Will want you to do. Be happy. I reconnected with your mother here recently. All she talked about was you. Want to hear what she said? Yeah, sure, why not? She said that she could not be more proud of you. She told me about how your robotic gloves made it to finals. How bully, your, how bully you paint your love for 80s music. She remembers all these things about your life. That's how she knows she loves you. I didn't know she felt that way. You think that if everyone goes through loss, that we learn a better way to cope. We have the stages of grief to guide us. But grief doesn't know it's supposed to be linear. I feel like I'm going through the four stages all at once. You mean five stages? The grief, unless we're talking about something else. You could take all the time you need. I wish you had more time so we can get to know you better. But I should let you go. In this case, I guess this is her great... Oh, no. Great-grandfather? Hi, you must be my great-grandpa. You must be May. I need to ask, how's being a teenager in your time? Kinda terrible. Sounds like things haven't changed then. It's hard to hear about your mother. Let's but let's get your mind off it, okay? We could talk about something else. Anything you want to know about me? Let's ask this. We were in the same high school and you passed notes to each other. We drew doodles poking fun at our teacher. When I moved away from the war, we kept in touch through writing letters. I was always excited to see what sketches she had for me that week. She'd draw what my family was up to and I'd draw the latest pranks that the soldiers pulled on each other. Eventually I came back from serving and I wrote her one last letter asking her to be my girlfriend. That's sweet. I haven't even had a boyfriend yet. I wouldn't worry about that. You inherited the lurks. My turn to ask about you. What makes you happy? Going on walks in the neighborhood with my mom. Falling asleep to the sounds of the rain. <laughs> I think that'll make anybody happy. Listen to throwback songs in the car. That too. That's good. The small thing's always worth holding on to. I have to be honest with you. I had a complicated relationship with your great-great-grandparents. You'll meet them in the next train. You'll meet them in the next train car. They're... Interesting people. It wasn't until they passed that. It wasn't until they passed that I understood them. After my dad died, I had to pick up his stuff from my childhood house. And it was the only thing then that I realized how similar we were. <coughs> Navigating the familiar worlds in my neighborhood, working to provide for my family, wondering what my purpose was. You're lucky you had the spot where your mom was living. Losing her isn't lucky. She was barely there when she had, when she was alive. You learn more about your mom as you grow older. You don't understand what I mean. The train is quite dirty. Before you go, why don't you wash your hands before you travel further? What is this a sink right here? Oh, it is. Oh, I don't even have to drag it. <laughs> Let's keep going. 
Well, what's wrong with over washing your hands? You're just being extra clean. supposed to be. Hey kid, I heard you need to take it to ride the train. That's it? Okay. Oh. Weird. Dismiss me too, just something those great uncles do. I still can feel how the strain works. Am I going deeper and deeper in time? Each car house is a generation. You, my dear, have reached the best part of the train. I wouldn't take your great grandparents too seriously though, especially your great grandfather. He's been telling me the same story from the war for decades now. What is my purpose here? What are these ingredients for? Shouldn't it be too obvious from how everyone's talking to you? About mom? She loves suddenly for all of us to give you. Why me though? Why not dad? Because you're her daughter. From the day you were born, you became her world. Also, also having kids means finally someone who will laugh at your jokes. That doesn't... <laughs> okay, that doesn't last long though. You okay? I am, and you never stop being a parent, even when you're dead. When my wife was pregnant, I was terrified. I felt like I should have prepared more, had more patience, earned more money, knew more. That my son was in my arms and I knew everything was going to be okay. That's, that's what being a parent is like. That's what being a parent is, being okay as long as your kid is. Is that how my mom felt? I'm sure of it. You read every book, consult every doctor, and you still won't feel at ease until your child is safe. I wish Monk could see me now and tell me everything's going to be okay. There's still so much left for me to do, and she can't guide me through any of it. What's left? Tell me what do you have to do. I haven't even finished high school. I have to fall in love, get my heart broken, go through an emo phase. Right, sorry, I was having a little moment there. <coughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> Find myself work at the bookstore down the street like I always dreamed of. I had to paint something greater than I ever did, I ever done before. One day you'll do all those things and we'll be here, cheering you on. People told me I wouldn't be famous, but hey, but look, I'm in a vid- <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall, that's nice. Huh? Don't worry about it, your mom told me to give you these noodles. You bought them on the stove before you go. the temperature, I guess. Moving on. Hi, May, I'm... Um... I'm sorry, I can't read that. <laughs> I 
It's an honor to meet you. Your grandmother told me that you were an artist. I'd like to hear about what art you do. I paint watercolor portraits. What have you done recently? I did a painting of mom and me. She's the sun and I'm the moon. You can't have one without the other. I made it for mom's. I admit it for mother's sake, but, now, but mom never got to see it. You must really care for your mom then. It's one who knows me. I'm starting to think she always did. I don't know if anyone told you, but I used to paint as well. With the traditional brush paintings of mountains and trees. Paintings only at the time I feel like I feel like my old self. No one tells me how I'm supposed to feel. Have you ever written poetry on your paintings? That's what I used to do in my time. Excuse me. Sometimes I write in my own or use. I can't read that either. Work. I only ever write in my journal. I'm not poetic or anything. How about you try now? Soup painting. Here goes nothing. There was once a girl who mother gave her paintbrush. Give her a paintbrush. She saw. She saw. She saw all that could be on the blank canvas. The sweet whistle of wind. Of the winds. Sitting on your roof to the late night vulnerability. A mother and daughter are growing old together. She saw what can no longer be. Mother who left too early and left too little behind. Stole all the beautiful colors. Until the stars lost their light. She saw everything she once was. Everything she has lost. Are you sure this is your first time doing poetry? That's it. Okay. Put the knife back where you found it. Oh, that's it. I thought I could just like chop as many as I feel like. Take care of your sister. Your dad is busy with this job. She lost her mom too. She needs a older. She needs her older sister to be there for her. I, I know, but I'm barely holding on to myself. Look, loss doesn't come easy. My mom died when I was five. But your grandma makes sure you could have a better life in America, and you, and you shouldn't even throw that away because your mom is gone. You need to take responsibility for your sister of your sister. I'm trying. It doesn't have to be much. Just make sure she had dinner and finished her homework. Do you understand? I guess. You're lucky that you have food on the table. Back in my day we could only eat meals like yours for New Year's. Just because you can't do that doesn't mean I can't suffer too. You need to understand the value of work. Your dad has to pay for your art classes by himself now. Have you considered that? But mom's been put in, but mom put me in painting classes. It's one of the only things that makes me happy. Listen, I just want what's best for you. Think about it, okay? Alright. Oh, wrong. Holding the wrong key. Puzzle game. 
I always start with the corners first. That was cool. Well, so far, another ping went off. I'm really liking the art style of the game. And I should have a counter every time there's a Discord notification. But I really like the story of the game so far. It's about a girl going through the loss of her mother. She's visiting old relatives of her past. That's why it's called the Taste of the Past and the Walls Cooking Mini Games. <laughs> Alright, moving on. <laughs> okay. Are you making tea? No? Okay, maybe some other time. You sure know how to keep a lady waiting. Is this the last train? You could keep exploring, but no one knows no, will know a thing about making noodles. You know how to make the long noodles? You mean long... Longivity noodles? I don't even want to create the original recipe. Excuse me. But I'm missing one of the ingredients. All I know is that your mother told me to give you this. What your mushroom? She remembered. I feel terrible. Of course she did. She's your mom. The long nose represents a long life. That's why you eat it on your birthday. This is your mother's final gift to you. You remind her of your Chinese heritage. You can get through this, May. Your mother told me you're a strong woman. People kept telling me that after she died, but I didn't do anything. I just begged the universe, my friends, whatever god there might be, that she would come back. I wish I was right there where dad's favorite udon noodles were. I wish I knew how to celebrate my identity like how she did, knowing the right amount of sesame oil to add the wontons. Navigating 99 Ranch like my home, persevering in my culture for the next generation. Not living in an empty house that people forgot mom as she was, spirited and wise, taught me how to hold a paintbrush. But you did something. You're carrying on her heritage and taking care of yourself. That's what she would have wanted. What do you have? What do you want now? I could walk around longer, I guess. Okay. I want to learn more about mm, paintings and hear grandma share stories about mom. Wish I can give you more time, but you need to get home soon. After you mix the noodles, you've done all that you need to do. There's a bowl at the end of the train. Don't get to pour some tea at least. Oh yeah, it looks like this is the end of the train now. Alright, let's do it. Remember carefully. Okay. Guess the... Red. Happy birthday, May. I can't believe you're here. 
So much has happened ever since you left. I need you back. You know I can't leave. But why did it have to be so soon? Why couldn't you stay for my graduation or be there for my robotics final? I wish I could have stood by you through all of those moments. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never appreciated how you took extra shifts to put me through art class. I'm sorry I don't help dad enough. I'll do anything for you back, please. You don't have to be sorry for anything. Do you remember the first time I made you noodles? You were in the third grade, so small and curious. Your store ran out of bean sprouts and you suggested wood ear mushrooms. From then on, that ingredient became our tradition. Our cultural heritage is shaped by these small moments. You've always been a part of that. I'm everything I am today because of you. I never thanked you for making kanji for me when I was sick or for believing in my paintings. Don't worry. Just knowing that I'll always be in your heart brings me peace. Thank you, Mom, for everything. I wish we could have dinner together one last time. I'm sorry for leaving so soon. You did more than enough for me. You were the greatest mom I could have asked for. May, I want you to keep painting. Ask Dad to take you to that New Order concert. Live like you did before my passing, spirited and open. I don't know if I can do that without you. I'll always be with you. It looks like this is your stop. I love you. Always. I love you too. Goodbye, Mom. Six years ago. Oh, we're so gone. Scoop a small spoonful of mixture to the center, then use your spoon to connect the wrapper, like this. How do we get the soup? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm doing the voice wrong. Some of the filling will become the soup. All we have to do is wrap, wrap the rest of these and steam them. Want to try? This looks tasty. Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. Almost done. It's like a very specific spot you're supposed to click. Bam. And bam. And one more. There we go. That's perfect. I knew my girl was a fast learner. After dinner, can we go to the pool? Ask Grandma. She could take you. But I want you to go with me. I have to clean up after dinner. Please? Pretty please? Okay, how about this? If you clean up with me, we can all go together. Yes! Grandma! Mommy said you can go to the pool with us today. Don't go so fast, we have to finish these dumplings first. Would you like to make s make such yummy food? Your grandmother taught me. Who taught grandma? Her mother taught her. One day you'll teach your kids. May, I want to talk to you about school tomorrow. You're starting in sixth grade. Ah, uh, don't remind me. Middle school is going to be even more challenging. Yeah, I mean, I thought of that when I was first going into middle school. 
but I know you can get through it. I was looking back through some of my stuff today when I found a card you wrote to me when you were in second grade. Your teacher had you writing all. Ugh. Your teacher had you all write letters from Mother's Day. You said you were lucky to have me as a mom, but really, I'm lucky to have you. I get to have a little girl who's the brightest person in every room. Us moms were always thinking about how we could raise our kids better. If our kids would be good people were smart. Any mini money mo touch the tiger by so if you want to look oh any mini money mo mom to my mom choose the very best one and you are Yes, except when you sell your sister's toys like you did with her stuffed koala. Hey, she stole my doll first! You asked a question, didn't you? Hey, don't forget how the bright... Don't forget how brightly you shine. You see the world with all this care. Don't let that go. You really think so? Of course. I want to know how much I love you, that's all. Okay, here we go. Wait, is there another page? Oh, oh noodles. I'm wondering where you got that sound effect from. Soy sauce. What's the difference? Unless... Okay, we don't want to completely soak them. I think two would be good enough. off with some veggies. Oh, we could add as many as we want. Yeah, we're good. I like carrots. Excuse me. I don't know if you guys hear, but I'm like drinking this soda, so that's why I'm like Pulling my mic away so you won't have to hear me burp. Let's get it all evenly layered. And some skill. Oh, that's like that, huh? That looks good. like to try some of that. Snap back to reality. <laughs> uh, she's awake now. I went to 99 Ranch the other day. My first time there without you. Did you feel emotional the first time you came to America? You must have been so excited to find an Asian supermarket and not just one exotic shelf in the grocery store. I walked past the aisles, the lychee jellies used to buy me as a kid, the grandmas gossiping at the produce section, all those times I used to sneak Hello Panda in our shopping cart. I didn't know what brand of Udon to buy. I tried to call you, but you couldn't answer. Then, a lady came up to me. She grabbed Udon off the shelf and told her daughter, This one is my favorite. And just like that, I knew you were watching over me. I don't know how things are going to change, but I'll keep painting. I'll help Dad take care of Amy. I'll take everything you've given me and continue to love our family. I'm hopeful for the future. And all it took was a taste of the past. Hmm. And 
That's it. I have to say, this was a sweet and also a sad story. A loving one, nonetheless. I mean, I'm sure there are some of you out there who are also going through a grieving phase, and... Well, personally, I haven't gone through that yet, but we all will in the future, eventually. Um, here, let's go over here. This... Yeah, give, give credit to, to everyone that, that worked on this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that this this is a sweet game. These people did a really great job. Um Yeah. And anyways that's it for Taste of the Past. I hope you guys liked it. I sure did. Um be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. My name is Ghost, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.